All right, if you remember where we left off, we had just edited our walkway to 42 feet, and I got to realign it. So let's move it away and align. Align, lock. Oh, not there. I want it right there on our edge. Give as much space as possible. And we have a nice walkway. So let's look and see what we got here. And all right, we got some problems going on here, one of which is that I made my handicap signs backwards. All right, so let's worry about the island later um, because it's actually going fine. I don't mind the way it's going. So let's rotate those um, signs. So nothing's going to go 100% perfect when you're making it, and uh, it takes a while to kind of get really good at this where you don't make these stupid mistakes like this. And... Let's just rotate them. And we have the constraint on there. Whoop to do. So let's click on it, unlock it, unlock it. All right. And then let's remove that one. And so let's just. Uh oh. Let's just make my life easy. I'm just going to delete that. And let's use the align tool. And. I'll line these back down here. Remember, you're not going to play life perfect all the time. And let's go back to components. Let's put that 42 inch walkway. And this is the practice will make us better people. There we go. All right. So now what we can do is we can start firing off these parking spots over here. And we'll go back to component, and we're going to go find that 90-degree parking strip. Parking strip. And last time we left off, all right, it didn't save our settings. Let's see. Make sure we're up 8.5 feet wide, 18 feet long. That is an important dimension. Let's place on face. And let's get that left line visible. So let's just put one in. All right. And then... What do you think we're going to do? We're going to align it. All right. Now what I like to do is just copy this. Okay. And let's just use this corner right here. And we're just going to have these lines paint over. And you kind of get this that it's going to start multiplying because now we can make a copy of two. And we go over here. Now we could go, oh geez. And we could even make a copy of the bigger one. And I know I'm kind of redundantly going over these lines, but whatever. We could just keep on copying. All right. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. I don't know how far this is going to go out. I'll figure out later. But what we could do is if we take and we go to the annotate tab, we put a line down the middle, and then I take and I select these lines and now I use that mirror command and I pick my axis boom I just put all my spots on that side yeah I'm missing some over here so let's go and use my copy and there we go so that's pretty good I got two whole sides done and then moving towards my road We'll see if I'm going to run out of real estate here. How fast? Let's look at my sketch, how I'm doing. Okay. I have another aisle and more spots. And looks like I forgot my little parking strip right there, too. So let's do that. Um, well, first off, we're going to have uh, our <clears throat> path again. Or, I'm sorry, our aisle is going to be 24 is the code. So let's just make a line off of one of these, 24 feet. I'm going to make a little line here so I remember where to go. And then 18 feet from there is going to be my parking strip. 
So what we could do now is we could take, and if we use this midpoint, I'm going to just draw a line to exaggerate it, and I take all of these spots, mirror, right there. There's our spots on the other side. And then what we'd have here is our curb cut out going around this way for our next set of spots. And I like kind of the rounded smooth edges. So let's go component and see what we got to work with here. We're going to go and find that road curb cut. And remember, we have choices. I believe it's this one. It is. And so I want it to line up right about there. And let's just pull this line to just give us a place to line up this with. Just got to go like right about like that. That's fine. Let's see, did I line that up right? Looks good. And then what we would have going across, it looks good, but I'll probably have to change it. And let's find that curb straight. And like I said, I usually just shut up. So I'll line these. Huh, I did get that decent. Now I could pull this all the way across. And we need another curb. And trust me, it may look weird now, but we're going to use this one for now. And you'll see why in a little bit. Just be ready for it. It's going to be amazing. sometimes I'm just gonna do it like that all right and there is a big portion of our parking lot done I notice that I don't have these walkways the way that I quite want them so let's get a walkway right here so first of all I'm gonna need a dimension I know how long my walkway is so this one of course I didn't click on the right spot let's try that again 60 feet exactly. So architecture component. Let's go to the walkway. Walkway. Edit type. Duplicate. 60 feet. And let's change our walkway length to 60 feet. Okay. And I want these to line up. And yep, I'm gonna have to do some editing in a sec. Ah, oh, jeez, Mr. Tosh. All right, so there's that walkway. So now the easiest solution in my mind is to delete these ones. And we're going to select all of these. And let's use the align. course these didn't move with it all right let's just do it the ease the hard way I should say
So there we go. There's my walker right there. Of course, I didn't line this up quite correctly. So let's try and do this another way, an easier way. And let's just bump this. So I have my walkway there. Uh, I'm not going to do this on video, but I'm going to create my other walkway over here. You guys know how to do that by now. And what we're going to do on the next video is start creating the parking lot over here. But let's just leave it at that for now. And so you have enough info to kind of create your um, first set of parking lot and your walkways, your handicapped spots, and so on.